Uganda is grappling with spiraling inflation which currently stands at slightly over 30.5 percent. A senior economist and the chairman of the Budget Committee of Parliament, Tim Rwanga, attributes the high inflation to what he terms as financial discipline by government. We became disciplined how? By budgeting to spend 100 shillings and you spend 200 shillings. And you are spending money you don't have. As a result of that, your domestic spending has gone up. You are actually borrowing more money from the central bank. You are spending outside the budget. Supplementary budgets are coming up. And as a result, is what you see. Inflation hits us. But what does the 30% inflation mean to Uganda? Prices have to go up. And when prices go up, it means that you have to spend a little more money than you were spending before. In fact, this is not a little more, probably double the amount that you are spending. That means that the 50 shilling note probably is not adequate. You have got to um, get a bigger note so that you, you match the inflation. Though Bank of Uganda says intention to introduce the 100,000 note is not about inflation, Governor Central Bank Tumusimi Mutebile says it will make it easy and control cash flow especially for those who do not want to move with Baruch Imane. I have no intention at the moment of introducing a, a, a hundred thousand shilling note, but that if the inflation uh, that we are now suffering unexpectedly continued for another six months, unexpectedly, because I don't expect to continue, I expect that inflation will dip, we start dipping, in December. If inflation continued, I would have to consider issuing a 100,000 shilling note. Unfortunately, those intending to borrow, it won't be cheap. Increase interest rates, the best rates when they increase, so that the borrowing is expensive and private sector stops spending money so that we can control the inflation. And I'll tell you what we are going to see. What we are going to see is cost of borrowing, which you already see, is going to go up. Rwanda is cautioning Ugandans to be careful because the situation could get worse if financial discipline is not observed. Ugandans love things which are imported. They're going to become expensive. Demand will go down and we'll get back online. Even when the shilling has improved against the dollar, it remains to be seen whether the central bank will find a solution. Jingo Francis. NTV.